What's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new vlog. We are checking in in Las Vegas and look at what this view is that we woke up to. My goodness. But anyways, we're gonna be trying to sneak into SEMA this year. We don't quite have passes, but we should be able to get in and hopefully I'm gonna get some footage, but also there's gonna be a bunch of messing around here in Las Vegas. So we're gonna get that started. I'm gonna show this view one more time and we're gonna get straight to the vlog. <laughs> Also, a big shout out to Manu and Jason for letting us stay here. This place is absolutely beautiful. Congratulations, you guys. And, uh, alright, let's get to the vlog. We already got people at the convention center. Slot like a penguin. Slot like a penguin. <laughs> alright, so some of us are about to go register for the uh, passes. And then look at this thing. I'll take that over that Huracan right behind this car. Alright, so we're here. We we're, at, here. we're at the entrance. Yes. This is the moment of truth. Moment of truth. We're gonna try to finesse our way into SEMA because we don't have passes. And just like that, we are in, baby. We got our passes. So if you guys don't know, SEMA is not really just a car show. It's actually a trade show. So as you see, there's a bunch of different companies kind of showing their stuff. All right, so we out here. There's massive dogs roaming around. There's uh, slammed cars, slammed chargers. There's a bunch of people, a bunch of trade people. There's a boat over there. This place is crazy. Unfortunately for us, it's already three and SEMA closes down at five, but we're in. Here's a cool 430. We're on the hunt for all of the wide body Supras. There are people wrapping cars and people watching people wrap cars. It's kind of like watching paint dry. We've now made it outside. It's still a little sketchy. Every single gate we go through, we have to, we have, to have a couple of us go in with passes and then, and then come back out with passes so that we can all get into each thing. But we're making it work. And so far, so good. And here is the first Supra of the show that we've seen. This one is not wide body though. Still pretty badass. Is this an actual functioning trailer? I don't know, but what's on it is pretty freaking sick. Dude, this is so sick. <laughs> now entering the uh, big section of the show. This thing's badass. Ski box on the top. You can see the engine through the hood. This is something I want to do. I want to get an E63 wagon and then put a ski box on top just because. Oh my god. See that sound is bouncing off the buildings. It literally sounds like a fighter. Oh my gosh. a full send. He was slotting like a penguin. Finessed in the next hall and the first thing we see is this Aventador. Looks like it's carbon fiber but this weave is very interesting. Interesting weave indeed. Finessed again. This time we got a little caught up. I should have filmed it but uh, he let us through. Brand new piece though. But this thing right here. These rims are, oh these are Giovanna rims. Okay that makes sense. Quite the, uh, quite the statement on the rims there. Nice, nice matte black finish. This thing's hard. Lamb talk. Lamb talk. Why well, have colored rims when you can have colored tires? No par, no car, brother. There's some fucking lamb talk right here. I actually drove one of these ones. Literally an amazing car. It's just an Audi, but it's a Urus, so it's sick. The question is. How functional is this while off-roading? It's a whip fit for Big Lande. So here it is. This is the brand new Liberty Walk Huracan kit. It's kind of got the front end of like an Aventador S type thing. As you can see, very wide. I like how boxy it is. Extremely boxy. Like, look at this. Super sick. It has almost like a Venino wing. I'm liking this. This is super sick. That's hard. Look at how boxy that is. Really, really, really sick. Thumbs up. But yeah, super sick. I honestly give this Huracan a 10 out of 10. There's not much you can do better about this thing. 2RS in the trailer. Matching specs 720. The body kit doesn't really fit right there too well. Great job, Fitment. That's a loyal suitcase right there. <laughs> Where's the Moss Energy and the Donut Media booth? If we were to film every single car here, this would be like a two hour long video. 
Not Two even. Hours. We couldn't even get Bro, through this whole thing in a day. That would be like a month long video. <laughs> Classic NSX, super clean, one of the best. All right, here it is. We finally see the wide body Supra. There's a bunch of these. We're gonna see a bunch of them tomorrow in like the performance section, but also another Liberty Walk Huracan and a Liberty Walk GTR. It's quite the, uh, the trio right here. And that's a wrap for day one for us. Tomorrow, Thursday, coming back, gonna see more and better things. Uh, we are back, day two. Me and Doran are gonna count how many uh, 2020 Supras we can find. And uh, we're finally in the performance hall and the first thing we see, Stradman Supra. Good job, Strad guy. Very good job. I'm not sure what kit he put on, but this kit's super sick because it kind of has like a Porsche feel to it, how round it is and how the fenders in the back are. I'm really liking this. Number two. I forgot to mention, today we're in luck. We got our own passes. I'm Joshua today and Dorn is Brian. <laughs> now we get to go everywhere with ease. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Go sit in the craftsman chair. Good morning. This one's on some BBS's. I like it. From SSR. Oh, it's four. Another one. Right here we have the iconic BMW M1 with two BMW symbols on both sides. If I'm not mistaken, I believe this car was designed by Lamborghini. There's a strange noise coming from the ceiling and I'm a little scared in Dawn's vlogging. What a great vlog. Look at that hand. Low-key, super fresh. But it's automatic, not my cup of tea. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they have this here. Yo, Devin, where you at, bro? Spider. <laughs> Every single BMW we see, this guy has to stop. <laughs> it looks like this is a Tundra that they lit on fire. Just to show how good this car can hold up to any circumstance. <laughs> As you can see, the taillights are literally melted off. Dorn is still filming this E36. This guy. <laughs> to see of people. A full carbon fiber demon. That's pretty sick. This almost looks like a Super Trofeo Huracan, but there's some weird panels on this thing. It's kind of sick though. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. You know, for me, there's everything. You get a little bit of everything. Bruh. Really nice. uh -huh. This is an insane build. Definitely the cleanest 240 here at SEMA. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Another one. Another one. Another one. An that's not one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. My gosh. There's one. There's one more over here. <laughs> I have no idea what we're at now. See, the white is interesting with the black and green. <laughs> oh, I guess this is like the Supra NASCAR, it looks like. I don't know if this is gonna count for our counter, but it's still pretty sick. Some massive tips on this guy. This is dope. This has like a metallic wrap kind of sort of thing on it. Wide body as well. Out of all the Supras at the Super booth, I think this one has gotta be my favorite. The red is insane on the rims. Carbon fiber barrels. The wide body, almost like a Nardo gray, but it's more metallic. It's very nice. I really, really, really like this one. But look at the roof. The roof has a little dip in it. That's probably something for airflow, plus the carbon fiber roof on this one. The other ones do not have that. I was so distracted by the booth, I completely passed this one. Aha. Very dark. Uh -huh. At the BBS booth, 570. I freaking love BBSs. They always do it for me. Super sick rims. You can never go wrong. They got kind of like a like a stance, not a stance, but like kind of like a tuner look to them, but they're also very classy. You can literally put them on every anything. Got a crazy built last gen Supra. Su this is you and the guy she tells you not to worry about. Imagine just you and the boys just romping this thing. I'd bring the guns, go to the desert, and play games. This just took the cake. And another one. These ones have some deep 
to HREs. I dig it, I dig it. Really nice RX-7 build right here. We're just two guys in one massive candy shop. Candy shop, big buy. Sick. With the business room. Now we're in the whole section of the show where it's just like tools and technologies and lifts and all that good stuff. It's pretty cool. There's not as many nice cars over here. It's not like a performance parts or wheels or anything. I kind of feel like I'm in like a Home Depot or a Lowe's. We've somehow found ourselves outside. We're kind of lost. There's fans above us, but we're trying to go to the drift section and see some drifts. See some people slide like a penguin. Slide like a penguin. <laughs> hey, what's up guys? So right here we have some Rawwell RWB Porsches. These cars in the beginning were something that really, really got me into cars. Wow. Alright, well like I was saying, these cars, I remember seeing these at the Cars and Coffee Irvine show and I've always wanted to see them because I saw them in video games and they just were something that really, really got me into cars. Like, I just love the wide bodies. They're not fast or nothing, but it's just the art of the car. They're really beautiful. <laughs> Out in the distance, we gotta get to it. There's more than one live action show going on. Let's do it. I can't even see the court. After all of that drifting fun, another 2020 Supra. This one's dope, green, wide body. All right, we got a few more Liberty Walks here and another brand new Liberty Walk Huracan. These are dope. I honestly thought there was only one here, but this is the third one we've seen. We saw these yesterday, but another Supra for today. Add it to the counter. RX-8, another rotary engine car, wide body. This thing is insanely clean. Shane, when are you gonna get your hands on one of these? And another. Another one in the distance. Oh, and if we go right behind the corner, another one. Come on, Scoob. <laughs> another one. Oh, Croggy. This beam is in the distance. What are you gonna do? I see an M6. <laughs> Super clean. The lighting outside right now is just insane. You can see all the tire smoke in the distance. This lighting is fire. Well, this is a first for me. The brand new G-Wagon slammed. Let's check out this. Another one, let's go. Another off-road looking Porsche. I thought three was it, but no. There are four Liberty Walk Huracans here at SEMA this year. Do you know what this is? No. It's TJ Hunt's car. No way. Yeah. Really? How insane. What? Wide body 458. Super sick. He did a very good job with this. Here we have one of the most beautiful Mercedes ever built. This is the 190E. This build on it is kind of crazy. I guess there's someone that's just a car enthusiast and kind of just like likes original stuff wouldn't like this, but it's an insane build and I kind of dig it. We're entering the last 15 minutes of SEMA. So far, so amazing. We didn't even realize there's another one. And another one. And another one. And one more. Oh wait. One more. I'm gonna have a blast putting a bunch of counters on these clips. It's gonna be a lot of editing. I don't even know how many we saw today. At least over 30. So we are here and we need to get all the way over there. Can we even walk through this? Thank you guys so much for watching the SEMA vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed. There was a lot of cars, a lot of information in this one. Not so much uh, But once again, thank you guys so much for watching if you've made it this far. Uh, and we will see you guys in the next one. It's a science, science, science.